Today we celebrate Stony Brook Children's Hospital, where our youngest patients will benefit from world-class health care. I'm proud of the role that Stony Brook Medicine and Stony Brook Children's Hospital play in promoting the well-being of our Long Island community. Through significant and ongoing New York State investment, I believe SUNY is well positioned to serve the healthcare needs of the state by educating future generations of medical professionals and through our excellent hospitals, with this the newest member of our constellation. And the most pediatric specialists around. But can they do this? Stony Brook Children's. The best ideas in medicine they all the for kids. Nine years ago, we literally planted a flag in the ground and declared the birth of Stony Brook Children's Hospital. Our children's hospital has grown up quickly and now has become the leading children's hospital on Long Island with more than 180 pediatric specialists in more than 30 specialties. Our new hospital was designed for children and their families and will allow us to combine the latest technology with a child-first family-centered philosophy. It's the only children's hospital on Long Island with all single patient rooms have been shown to enhance infection control, foster a sense of control over the physical environment, facilitate family involvement, and importantly, provide privacy. The zone in the middle is for the patient, and then the clinical side is, is everything towards the door. The most expensive and complex construction project ever seen on Long Island, a project that would never have been possible without vision, persistence, sometimes downright stubbornness, and incredible generosity of so many individuals who are here with us today. Today's celebration of Children's Hospital would not have been possible without the support of our legislative leadership and delegation, most notably Senators Kenneth Laval and John Flanagan. I am in awe every time I come to this campus, every single time. The innovation, the research, the creativity, it's amazing. This is a great event today for Stony Brook. To have a children's hospital is another step forward, another jewel in our crown as we move forward. We are especially proud to be part of today's ribbon cutting of this magnificent children's hospital that we are here to celebrate. We have been in awe of many things along the way to get to where we are today. First was vision, recognizing that there were few choices for Suffolk residents that could provide specialized care for our children in a way that they deserve. We really want to entice the patients to get up and start walking around, so we've developed mobility programs to enhance that. My name is Delaney Unger and I am a cancer survivor. Up until I received my diagnosis, I had never set foot in a hospital. From November of 2016, when I first met with the pediatric oncology and orthopedic oncology team at here at Stony Brook, through my nine months of chemotherapy and specialized rotation plasty amputation, I was always glad that we took on my cancer fight right here. I must say, I am a little jealous of the new beautiful Stony Brook Children's Hospital. <laughs> Not only will the children who stay here get the best possible care, but they will also do so in a fantastic new facility designed with them in mind. I am an osteosarcoma survivor, and Stony Brook Children's Hospital is why. Thanks to all of you for your passion, your dedication, your commitment to improving the health care for our children. It's hard to imagine anything more important than that, provisioning excellent health care for the next generation. <laughs>